Konnichiwa Minasan, I'm Deepika. I finished my engineering recently uh, in uh, biotechnology and I decided that I wanted to learn Japanese. My love for Japanese started uh, long back and uh, I have always been wanting uh, to learn Japanese. The, one of the main reasons why I started loving Japanese was because of the anime. Uh, you know, the language was really nice to hear and I decided this would be one of the languages that I'd love to learn. I started learning Japanese in uh, November 2012 and uh, uh, you know the journey ever since has been extremely interesting for me. We have uh, many things to learn in Japanese and the kanji part is especially interesting. It is uh, you know the drawings that are made in uh, you know in a, in a sort of script form so that you can talk whatever you want to communicate is communicated in the form of drawings but anyway it, this was something that I find really interesting and the language of the whole is extremely challenging. So if you're one of those people who want to be challenged, Japanese would be the language to learn. Um, the thing with the Sakura Nihongo Center is that it's located in the center of the city. And because of its prime location, it's extremely, it's very, you know, easily accessible. And uh, it, 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 you can, you can come here, you know, the, or most buses come through Maneshwaram and uh, it's uh, basically, you know, it can be very easily accessed and it, it is an extremely convenient place to learn Japanese in case you don't want to move very uh, very far away from your home or go to a very inconvenient place. So Akuma Nihongo Center also, uh, you know, has uh, exposed us to the Japanese culture in a way that, you know, uh, we have interacted with many of the Japanese nationals and, uh, uh, you know, learning about these people and understanding them and, you know, they trying to understand us, it's a very interesting experience on the whole, you know, because the, you need to cross a certain barrier to uh, you know, get to know them and they us. Um, recently, I interacted with a, a Japanese national, and uh, this particular experience, I don't think I can ever forget because it has been an extremely interesting part of my life. Where you know, I found out that uh, I can actually teach people. She, we, we both interacted in such a way that you know, we were, we really could understand each other, and uh, I, I, I really liked it. We also had uh, something known as a Japanese haba a couple of months back and uh, that was really worth a watch. Uh, our cultures uh, merged, uh, we, you know, there were a lot of uh, anime characters, people dressed as uh, anime characters walking around, uh, you know, in, in the haba and uh, they talked about the universities and the universities that you can get into and, uh, you know, basically it was, it was a very interactive process. We also had a lot of uh, shows and things like that. So, I feel that, you know, this coming to Sakura Nihongo Center, you'll be exposed to many things that you generally wouldn't be exposed to. Um, I think this, this place is really good. And when it comes to job opportunities, or let's say you, you're interested in studying in uh, Japan, learning Japanese and, you know, crossing a couple of these uh, examination, uh, uh, you know, levels would, will really help you because many of the jobs, they give you an extra bonus when it comes to, uh, when, when you know a foreign language. And then uh, again, when it comes, you know, when you have to learn, uh, I mean, Japanese to study in Japan, uh, they generally expect till about uh, an N4 level of uh, uh, knowledge of the language. Um, this place has extremely friendly people and learning in such a friendly environment really helps because, you know, you're not really stressed out and stuff. So, um, I think uh, Sakura Nihongo Center is a good place to study in. And you know, like I said, it's extremely convenient uh, and uh, easily accessible too. And I think uh, one should have an experience.